thing that, that adds time and that's the, the biggest variable is how do you get from your eyeballs, right, looking at the thing into a number, like a dollar figure in exact yeah. time, right? That is, and there's a million different ways, I mean, not a million, but there's a bunch of different ways to go from your eyeballs to that final number. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. This video is sponsored by Exactware Training, the creators of Xactimate X1 and Xactimate Mobile. Get certified as an Xactimate expert right now at the link in the description below. My way was, for a long time, was I'm, I'm writing the whole thing out as I'm looking at it, right? You know, that's a three and a half inch, you know, casing on that door that needs to go, plus paint, right? I even had plus paint to that. You know, detach, reset the door, do, do this, do that, you know, this much drywall. This many square feet. I mean, I'll actually like get my calculator out and this many square feet of that thing. Probably the best way to do this, and this is this is kind of a a, a next level sort of a thing, in some ways. Um, and I had a manager, actually, when I was when I was a staff adjuster for that one year that I was a staff adjuster, he insisted that I try this because I was I didn't do it. I I was like, well, I don't know. It sounds like a pain in the rear end, and you know, whatever. He goes, Matt. Just try it on one. Just try it on one. I was like, okay, fine. I'll do it. Right. As long as you pay for it, because you know, I'm not buying that thing. Um, mm -hmm. Because as a staff adjuster, you can say that you need a piece of equipment. We just say, mm -hmm. Hey, I need this. And then they'll mail it to you. Um, so laptop stand and my laptop, he's like, take your laptop into the house. It's, you know, I was, as a staff adjuster doing local daily claims, I would, you, you do mostly water losses, right? Cause st stuff breaks and water causes a lot of damage. And so I took my laptop in I was like, I don't know. We'll see how this works. I mean, I, I'm, I think I'm still faster the way I do this. And by the time I got to the third room, I was like, there's no way I'm never going to, I'm I'm always going to do claims like this because it was so much faster because it went from my eyeball right into sketch, right? I didn't draw a diagram on a piece of paper or draw di dimensions out or whatever, or even write my scope. I dimensioned the room, build my sketch as I was going, get the measurements, right? And then... I, start, I wrote, started writing my estimate right there. I just wrote my estimate in, the, in that room while I was there. Took my photos and then left the room and closed the door behind me and went, did it in the next room. And I was like, hold on a minute. And this is why I said in a, a previous uh, video, I was like, even daily claims, like large loss water claims, or even fire, like, you know, smokers or whatever, you're in and out in less, three hours or less doing this because... By the time you get to the front door, back to the front of the, the foyer, the last room, take my pictures, you know, I, I diagram it, throw the line items on there, take the photos. I'm done with the estimate. And then I just go to the homeowner. Oh, hey, come here. This is a grand total, right? That's it. Mm -hmm. What else is? I mean, maybe you got to add on like, uh, uh, you know, a, a shipping container for the front yard or for the driveway so they can put their stuff in it while they're doing the work in the house couple of line items of that stuff, right? And then you're off to the next one. And all I got to do is, if I didn't do it already, is label my photos, important label my photos, depending on how I took the photos, and do my diary, do my invoice, do the GLR, do the, those, do the paperwork stuff, and then hit complete. And, and that's what I'm going to be sitting in the, in the insurance uh, front, in their driveway doing in my truck, as I'm going to be writing that stuff up they may pop back out with a question or whatever. And then when I'm done with it, I hit upload and then I go to the next one. And then it's done. It's not sitting on my desk for the rest of my life. Yeah, um, that's a great the point. Other, um, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, um, the other thing, which is even better, is this. Nice. Okay. If I had one of these like 15 <laughs> yeah. years ago, I mean... Come on, because you're you're getting this straight from. It's not going from your eyeballs to your fingers to drawing a sketch. It's going straight from this thing's eyeballs, right into building the diagram and getting the dimension. So I don't have to stand there and measure the room or whatever. I just stand in the middle and tap on the screen a few times, tap on the door to get the door, and then move to the next room. Right, right, and put my line items in there. Take my take my photos with this. Label my photos with this. And I'm not using some third party app. I'm not like, you know, cobbling together a bunch of apps or whatever to try and make that work. It's all in Xactimate Mobile. And mm -hmm. it, you don't have to pay for an ESX, you know, for a, 
a hover or for a Matterport or whatever and pay a bunch of extra money for that stuff and then wait for them to process it. But basically for that information to get to send to the, to the Philippines where somebody sitting at a computer is going to look at Google Maps or whatever. It's right here. And I was thinking about this the other day, yesterday, as a matter of fact, and I was like, you know, this would be great for like interior, um, you know, because you get the sketch AR thing and all that kind of stuff and it, on your phone as well. I mean, I've, I got this on my phone. Um, and then I was thinking, well, wait a minute now. So if I'm standing up on a roof and instead of, I, I'm the, I, I don't know that there's, I haven't messed with like any AR thing on the roof. I don't know if you can do it on this for the exterior, maybe the elevations maybe, but I don't know about the roof. Maybe. Um, but even if you can't, I can still like have this thing in a holster or something and get the measurements instead of drawing a diagram on a piece of paper, I can just draw it on the screen. Like mm -hmm. super easy. I mean, this is, this is, I think this is easier to use than the desktop version of exact as far as doing sketches because there's less stuff and it's just your finger. Right. And you can just, um, and then you can just put a macro on it, delete the things that you don't want. And then you're, I'm, I'm going to stay in there, take some photos, right. Or whatever. And then, I don't have to, like normally what I would do is back when I was doing a lot of roofs was I would diagram, I would do, scope the, the the slope, take the photos, work my way around. And then I would draw a diagram and then I would measure it. And then I would add all those up, all my areas up to make sure I didn't miss anything. And then I would climb off the roof. With this, I think you could do it to where you could get the whole thing, including the estimate and the, the sketch, because then I'd have to transcribe the sketch diagram, the, my diagram into sketch when I'm sitting there in the, in the car, right? Um, I, I don't have to do that now. And I can write the estimate while I'm standing up on the roof and even be like with the contractor, be like, what do you think? <laughs> grand total on this. Yeah, it looks good. Let's go. All right, let's wrap this thing up and get out of here. I mean, this is technology, right? That is here to help us, right? Who knows what AI is going to do? I mean, I, I, honestly, there's there, nobody knows. There's, there's no way to, to see beyond that horizon, Right. But in the meantime, we have a lot of, of really amazing tools that we can use. And if you use something like this in conjunction with a uh, well thought out systematic plan for moving around, over, through houses and around properties, right? Getting fences and other structures and all that kind of stuff. And then personal property, whatever. When you're at the house doing your scope, when you're scoping the loss, if you have a systematic way that you do it every single time, and you incorporate something like this into that, I think you could be absolutely unstoppable. And you'd be the person getting at the top of the list, you know, with your with your production and still having a high quality file and still having great customer service. I mean, it sounds like a no brainer to me. It takes work, obviously, but I think it's something that, um, you know, the reason why I have Adjuster TV and the reason why you're doing Patterson Adjuster training is because it kind of, we kind of get excited about this stuff because we're like, listen, yeah. we figured out a way to do this through our, all of our experience and then messing around with these tools and stuff that'll make it easier for you to do this work and to, to make a great income at it. We need good people, right? So if you're a good person, you know, um, come on in. We want to help you. You know, the water's warm. It's cold at first when you first put your feet in and you're like, ah, <laughs> but it warms up really fast because it's the learning curve is not forever, right? The learning curve is steep at the beginning and then it, it flattens out pretty pretty hard to almost a flat plane after that. So if you can get past that first part, learn how to scope, learn how to write your esti write, write estimates, learn how to do all this stuff, um, learn how to take photos in a systematic way, um, you know, get some hands-on experience, you know, at Patterson Adjuster Training at the, at the house, mm -hmm. um, learn some construction and stuff like that, get some licenses and that's what the industry is after. That's those are the kinds of people that that are willing to put in work to get that stuff, you know, or after. There's no free lunch, right? It takes work. Um, you do own basically own your own business, and people who are business owners don't th they they work a lot, right? There's no like you're not doing this from the beach in Fiji. You're not, you know, it's not passive income or anything like that. It's it's. Uh, you're earning every penny that you make, for sure. Coming up on Adjuster TV. 